It's me, Snakes. I got the stuff. AC said you had some dough for me. That a fact. How much do I owe you? AC said 10%. Too bad AC ain't in charge no more. Hey, I tell you what I'm gonna give you, Snakes. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. All right, Johnny, I'm going. One, two, ten. is be watch eat like me welcome back to the channel hey you guys we are back with our 12 days of recipes yes we're getting right through these y'all we're getting right through these before we hop into this next recipe um if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and y'all hey Let's just hop right on in. So we are on day four. Day four. Yesterday was day five. We had them Philly cheesesteak sliders. They were so good. Ooh, they was mouth watering good. So today, it's gonna be something a little even I say even simpler than the Philly cheesesteaks. We finna hit that sweet tooth oh, here with some sweet potato. Um, it's a maple and brown sugar roasted sweet potatoes. Yup. It's gonna be it's gonna be tasty, y'all. And it's real quick, simple, just like all these other recipes. Any of these recipes, y'all, you can make it take to the holiday party. I'm telling you, boom, you're gonna look like a star walking in there with one of these dishes. I'm telling you. So, enough of all the jibber jabber. Let's hop over to this counter and get through these ingredients. Okay, y'all. Before we start on the ingredients, you guys make sure you preheat your oven to 450 degrees. So that way, by the time you get finished prepping everything, the oven will be preheated. So let's hop into our ingredients. So first, we have, of course, our sweet potatoes. Now I'm only gonna make one sweet potato, but how I'm doing this recipe, um, you can make probably about two or three sweet potatoes with it, but I'm only gonna do one because I'm gonna use the rest of my sweet potatoes for Christmas. And so, we're gonna get the sweet potatoes cut, like so, about a half an inch thick. Peel, you can peel them if you want to, you don't have to peel them. Um, I like mine peeled. Um, if you don't peel it, make sure you wash it real good to get all the dirt off of it. But just cut them into like little half inch circles like this. Next, we have our pecans, about a half a cup of pecans. We have two tablespoons of butter, which we're gonna melt here in a few. We have some cinnamon. We have some salt. We have some brown sugar. And we have some maple syrup. Y'all, I got this maple syrup from my neighbor. It is straight from Canada. So this is authentic maple syrup, y'all. So, y'all, first thing first, let's get this butter melted. And we're gonna get it poured into our potatoes. We're gonna put uh, season our potatoes with salt and pour this melted butter over it. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna take some salt and we're just gonna season our uh, sweet potatoes with some salt. I'm gonna give it that sweet and salty taste. And then we're gonna take our butter and just pour it on in here. We're just gonna stir this up, mix it, mix it together to get all the potatoes coated with some of this good old butter. We're gonna take a pan with some foil and we're just going to lay these down one by one on this baking sheet. Alright y'all, so we got these on here. We're going to place these in the oven, 450 degrees, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, so while our potatoes are cooking y'all, Let's go ahead and get our little sauce together that we're gonna pour over the potatoes. And so, I'm gonna use the bowl that I was mixing the potatoes in with the butter, because I still got a little bit of butter left in there. I'm gonna take my pecans, pour them on in there. I'm gonna use about one fourth cup of syrup. I'm gonna just use the rest of this. This is probably about one fourth. Now 
Just pour the rest of that maple syrup on in there. And we're gonna take some cinnamon. Sprinkle about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. And we're gonna take a tablespoon of brown sugar. Tablespoon of brown sugar, pour in there. And we're gonna give this a little mixy mix. So this is what we're gonna, like. gonna mix it all up. All right, y'all, so we got it all mixed up. And this is what we're looking like. So now what we're gonna do is wait for these potatoes to get done, and we're gonna come back and finish up. Literally, this is like really quick and simple. We're, we're dang near 90% done, y'all, so. We'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, so what we're gonna do, take these and we're going to flip them over like so. One by one. And we're gonna take our mixture and put some on top of each one. Okay y'all, so we got the mixture on top. We're gonna place these back in the oven and bake for another five minutes and then we're done. So we'll be back in five minutes. syrup and brown sugar with pecans roasted sweet potatoes are done this literally took like total time probably about 30 40 minutes to do between prep and cook time so that's what we got y'all so let's give this a taste i'm gonna taste one of the small ones so i'll be on camera chewing the whole time you know from the pecans like really set it off texture wise the sweetness from the brown sugar and the maple syrup you have the potato mm. y'all this is like a perfect dish to make for Christmas y'all a holiday party or to add to your menu for Christmas have a, have, as, a, as a snack as a dessert this is what we got mm. I'm gonna finish that plate right there but look y'all, this has been day four of our recipes. 12 days of recipes. We have three days left to Christmas. It's this Friday. I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. We got say like three more, three more recipes left, y'all. We winding it down. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you drop a comment below. Make sure you share it out. Just make sure you do some stuff, you know? And thank you for stopping through and watching the 12 Days of Recipes. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.